Hello friends, so welcome back to your own channel that is we are in techno world. So uh, in the previous video, I just told you that how to find out the bisection marker and like how to solve an numerical using bisection method. So in the previous numerical, as you could check that like number of iterations are going on. That means like in the same question, as you could check on the board, in the same question, the 20 iteration would go on, right? So, like to find out the approximate route till 20 iteration manually, it would be very difficult. So, in place of that, what we could do? We could write one C program for it. So, in this video, I would tell you that how to write C program for it. So, first of all, what we are doing? We are just initializing the header files that is stdiu.h that means standard input output dot h so this is one kind of header file and you know very well that how like why we are initializing it okay so in case of a standard input output the printf and scanf definition is given that is why like in case of c program we just try to take stdiu.h right in case of the second header file that is math dot h why we are using because some of the like, mathematical functions are defined under this math.h. So that is why it has been included. And after that, like what we are doing, this is the portion for our equation, which is given in the question. That is x cube minus 4x minus 9. So this is one kind of easy method. Like because each and every time we would put the value into our equation. So that is why what I am doing. I'm just creating one separate function over here. So this is one separate function as we could check. This is one separate function for the equation that is like the x cube minus 4x minus 9. Okay. So like to define or to give the function definition, what we could do? Like before the main, we could initialize it. We could give the definition to our function. Okay. So uh, like for that purpose, what you do, you just define your uh, equation or you just define your function. The name of the function is e to n, right? Based on this equation, I'm just taking one function name that is e to n, okay? And why I'm just declaring as double? Because the value which we would get into this function would be in a form of double, right? It would be number of floating point values we would get, number of decimal values we would get. So that is why I'm just declaring it or I'm just declaring this function as double. Like you could take it float as, as well. But the value which we would get, it could be like obviously number of decimal places. So that is why like I'm just taking it as double. Okay. After that, uh, like the equation is defined under this. That is x cube minus 4x minus 9. After that, you just return the value that is return f. So, as soon as like we would take the uh, like function name that is eqn, then automatically it would be solved out over here. Okay. So, after that, a main function, this is a main function. The program would start or the program would like start it uh, compiling or running. The compiler would directly jump into the main function. Okay. Then, first of all, uh, what we would do, the intervals are given to, uh, like, uh, in this question, the intervals are given, that is 2, 3. So, what we are doing, I'm just directly taking as a float these two numbers, right? Float x1 equals to 2 and x2 equals to 3, okay? After that, like, the, uh, like, uh, I have taken two double type variables over here, that is z and x3. Why I'm taking this x3? Because like we would find the mean under this x3. Okay. And to keep the record or to keep the value of x3. Because it keeps on changing. Because the value of x3 would keep on changing. As you could check the previous video. In which I have told you that how to find out the numerical. Okay. So in case of that numerical you could check that the value of x3 would be changing in every step. So that is why I am taking one another variable over here that is z. So I would like keep the value of x3 under this z. After that the main if condition would be put in or the main rule would be worked out. Okay. 
so this is the range which i have declared in the float after that uh, like i have taken uh, one variable that is i and i would be because this is the number of iteration it would tell us that num how many iteration i'm just uh, like it keeps on uh, like going so that is why i'm just taking this i as int integer type okay after that we just print onto the screen that what type of method you are going to solve or the numerical which you are going to solve is like you are just finding the approximate root using which method so on the top of the screen we would print like which method you are going to solve with the help of c program so that is why i have taken that is print f then bisection method so it would be printed onto the screen okay after that uh, like the main condition that is do print f the iteration percentage d means the num iteration number would be printed okay so this is the print f uh, rule after that uh, like in case of next print f what i am doing i am just printing like in iteration number 1 this would be printed like what is the iteration for example iteration number 1 okay then in the next line it would be printed that the value of x1 okay then the value of x2 okay after that the value of x3 would be printed so this is the first iteration so just like that like in every iteration the number of like values of x1 x2 and x3 would be printed okay so now like after getting the mean that is x3 equals to x1 plus x2 upon 2 right so this value would be put it onto the screen on to like after that the if condition would be work out right like we would uh, like after finding out the value of mean that is x3 what we would do we would keep the value of this uh, x3 into the equation that is eqn then within bracket i'm just passing the value of x3 that means in the first iteration the value of x3 that is 2.5 would be passed into the equation so directly it would jumped as soon as like the compiler would come over here then it would directly jump into this function okay so z equals to eq and x3 so it would be like uh, solved out from this function after that like the comparison would be done like if the value of z is greater than 0 greater than 0 means if it is a positive value then the value of upper bound would be changed with the value of x3 okay this x2 means the upper bound would be changed with the value of x3 else means if the value is negative then the lower bound would be changed with value of x3 right then the like number of iteration would be increased right in the second iteration whatever value would be it would be printed on the screen right just like that it would be move on right and when it condition would be stopped so this condition would be stopped while the fabs of x1 minus x2 fabs why we are finding out the fabs fabs means the mod rate right means the mod for example if we are getting the value in negative so to change this negative value into positive i'm just using fabs function over here and the definition of fabs is under this mat.h function okay so if uh, like any kind of negative value would come over here then it would be changed into positive right it would be changed into positive and after that like it would be checked like whether the value of x1 minus x2 is greater than equals to range and the range is 0.00001 means up to five decimal places we have to find it right so if this condition is true then stop the condition and this is the closing bracket for main function and this is the closing bracket for do okay so after that like obviously the total number of iteration would be printed onto the screen and the final answer or the final approximate root would be printed on the screen right so you just check it you just solve it with the help of c program now like with the help of uh, obviously this c program so what do you do you just try to write the c program on your system 
and uh, do compile it and find out the 